Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for July 8th of 2022. Well, it is titled Roots on a Rotating Planet. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image taken a tree in the foreground and up in the sky, we of course see a great number of stars. And we see the Milky Way stretching across actually going right behind the tree here in the foreground. Now the Milky Way is our galaxy as we see it from within. Now the image that we see here is what you would see if we take a picture and we follow the sky with the camera. And that means that we have to take Earth's rotation into account. Because the Earth rotates from west to east, things appear to rise in the east and set in the west. So if we did not take that into account, we would see the stars take paths across the sky. And in fact, the second part of this image, we can actually see that. And if we look here, we see this is what would happen if you did not track the sky and did not take into account Earth's motion. And here we see all of the same stars that we just saw in that previous image. And in fact, we can now see where Polaris is up there to the upper left. And Polaris is the bright star kind of centered at the circle there. And in fact, if we change this back again, you can still see where Polaris is right up in that corner. You can kind of see which star is right there. Now, all the other stars will, of course, form circles around this as Earth rotates. Polaris, very close to the North Celestial Pole, will appear almost completely stationary. And the further away you get from that, the larger the circles will become. So here you can see that some of those circles are very small near the North Celestial Pole. And as you get further away, the circles get larger and larger until eventually they start to intersect the horizon. Those stars close to the pole we call circumpolar stars. They are stars that will never rise or set from that location. Other stars further towards the middle here will rise and set and they are stars that we would watch rise in the east and set in the west every day. And the closer we get to the equator towards the middle here, uh, middle to the bottom section, we would start to see the lines getting much, much longer. Now you can also see some of the nebulae that actually are parts of the Milky Way that are stretched out here as well. And it's easy to see towards the right hand side where you can see some reddish glow. And if we look at the red glow there and we look at this without the area without the lines showing without the star trails that we see you can see that there are some reddish nebulae nebulosity regions brighter regions and when we look at them with that we can see how they have stretched out that they are also appearing to move across the sky they are part of the sky and appear to rise and set whereas if you look at the far left side, we can see a glow likely from a distant city, perhaps. And we see that that really doesn't get stretched out. It stays exactly the same as we look at it in the two different images. So here we get to see with the tree in the foreground, looking out star trails trailing across the sky, showing the rotation of our Earth. So that was our picture of the day for July 8th of 2022. It was titled Roots on a Rotating Planet. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.